Join me to paint the serene beach scene in watercolors. The sketch needed for this painting is given here. The link to this sketch is given in the description which you can download from that link. First I start by wetting the sky portion of the paper. I am going to make a plain wash using indigo color. After painting the sky portion, tilt the board and wipe all the pigments that is collected near the tape. Now allow the paper to dry completely. Now the paper is completely dry. I wash the brush thoroughly in the water and then I wipe it on a waste cloth. Now the brush is almost in dry state. I pick the pigment indigo color using the brush that is we are going to use dry brush technique to paint the sea. Initially check your brush with a waste watercolor paper and then go over on your painting. Now I am going to apply this dry brush technique in the painting. I am giving a light pressure on the brush. So the brush skips some of the places on the surface of the paper. That is in some places there are pigments and some places it leaves paper white. This is the required effect for our painting to create the shimmering of light effect on the sea surface. You can see there are formation of lines while painting the sea. This is because there is too much pigment on the tip of the brush. I am going to smoothen those dark areas. Next, I am mixing indigo color with permanent orange for painting the beach sand. I am going to use negative painting technique to paint the waves. That is, I am going to paint the beach sand and the waves get automatically visible after wet painting the beach sand. To paint the beach sand, I am using wet on wet technique. The white foamy waves gets visible when I started to apply the brown color for the beach sand. This brown color is in light value that is I diluted this color so I get a light value of it and this brown color is obtained by mixing indigo color with permanent orange. Next I mix cobalt blue with permanent orange to create the sand which is nearer to the viewer. I am applying indigo color over the crest and trough of the waves so that the waves become more visible and gives more and it gives more realistic effect next using a damp brush i smoothen that uh, indigo color so that there are no hard edges
here is the close up view of the wave it is okay to paint inside the people because we are going to apply dark color over these people to create frothy effect on the wave i used indigo color which is in light value and i'm applying it here and there to create the effect i also applied brown shade but everything is in light value The brown color which is applied is still wet. I am splattering water over that wet area. Next I am going to paint the people. For the male shirt I used vermilion hue which is mixed with little amount of indigo color. For the darkest part of the shirt I mixed more indigo with vermilion hue. To paint his trousers, I used cobalt blue. For the dark part of the trouser, I used indigo color. To paint the female dress, I used Naples yellow mixed with indigo color I used brown color mixed with little amount of vermilion hue to paint the skin. Use indigo color to paint the slippers and for the hair. I don't use white or black that comes with watercolor paint set. Either I create black by mixing different colors or I use dark shade of blue to represent the darkest part of any subject. I don't use white color paint from watercolor paint set this is because i leave white areas for uh, highlight or any representation of white in this painting last i added splatters using brown color for the sand we reached the end of this video hope you enjoyed watching this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel See you in another video. Until then, take care and bye-bye from Prema.